You're good. You're good. I think I blew the Mark V up. <laughs> Video begins. I want to let you guys know I love you guys so much. We're about to hit 32,000 subscribers. We might already be there. So if you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. The purple TDI, she goes through some things in this video. So don't miss out. Watch it all the way through. Grab some popcorn, smile, and smash the like button if you guys enjoy. <laughs> I think I blew the Mark V up. I'm going to check the voltage right now. I did a burnout in the car and it just randomly died. And um, now it won't turn over. I tried bump starting it and the tires just locked up. So it's not looking good, boys. Battery is literally reading 14 volts. Oh no. If we go to turn the key over, it's like completely locked up. I'm trying to fix the boots, so that's why it's off. But uh, here goes the e-brake off with it in gear car is just completely locked even if i put my phone in the clutch and let it out it just completely stops the whole car like there's no there's no turnover of it at all it's locked right now i'm home alone i'm at the bottom of my driveway like i don't i don't know how to get this thing up there like this thing weighs five thousand pounds so we're gonna strategize and uh we're gonna try to get it up there joey's heading on over right now with the f-150 hopefully we can either tow it up push it up or something like that but it has been confirmed the battery is completely charged it's not turning over by key when I put it into gear and let out the clutch, it doesn't move. When I put it in neutral and try to, it's hopefully not seized. Hopefully it's something in the train. So I'm gonna hook this up. He said he's gonna bring a tow rope. Hopefully he has a good one because I don't really have the best stuff. And um, we're gonna hopefully pull this thing up the driveway just to start at least. <laughs> You look at that time when our buddy Joey pulls up oh, in the yeah. F-150 looking like a stud, senior jacket. All right, so I just told Joey that he should just hop the curb, pull into this area. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this flag. Whistle and diesel style, just throw everything you have. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Truck driver, truck got this. <laughs> so it's gonna be, so it's gonna be somewhere in the engine area. Basically, we got the the fishing bobber right here. Uh, right here, we got the cat back. OEM, EPA approved. Right here is the battery. And what's this? That's the engine. Yeah. That's the engine. Precisely. Oh, dude, you even got a little keychain holder. That is the keychain holder. It's a little dirty, so don't don't get too involved with it. You don't want to get your yeah, senior varsity jacket too dirty. Oh. Yeah, so some kid crushed my... Joey and I are going to attempt to push this behemoth into the garage. We're on an uphill. We are fighting gravity. But Joey's honestly, Joey's the muscles of this show. I got, I got small muscles. Joey's like Hercules, Hulk, and uh, your worst nightmare. <laughs> all, all in one. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, dude, that truck sounds like a VQ or like a, dude, it literally sounds like a, v, like a 350Z, like a VQ. pretty cool. Nick just pulled up. He's going to help us push this thing into the garage. Perfect. The 
the sun is looking absolutely insane. I don't even know what to call this, but if I click on like the grass, it like lights up. Like that's how my eyes see it. But when I click on there, it like dims it down. But it's literally insane. Like this is, this right here is my view of this right now. Oh my God. So now that we got the car nosed in, I decided to hook up the jump pack and just by the strains of God, maybe see if it works. The battery is reading 14 volts without it on there. So the likelihood of it, you know, actually being a problem is very low, but I'm gonna put it on 12 volts. I'm gonna turn the key. We're just gonna we're just gonna start there. <laughs> God fingers, the starter negative wire was a little bit loose and corroded. So maybe by the chance of God, it just decided to go, and the connection was lost. But this car did not want to start by bump starting it. But also my clutch is blown, so maybe it wasn't gripping. Let's just pray because if the TDI is blown up, we're not gonna have a lot of content for it. So we'll have content full send in her, but. Oh, all right, all right. Yes! So the next day, I made a few Instagram posts about this happening, and a couple of people hit me up and they said what the issue might have been was that the alternator was locked up, which is totally possible, which I think is what happened, because when I let off the clutch yesterday, the clutch was slipping, but there was something of a greater force that was forcing it to be able to not basically move and force the wheels to move. So I'm thinking that the alternator was completely locked up, and then when we rolled it into the garage last night, I just kept messing with the key, and it finally started to roll slowly, like turn over. Maybe that was the issue, but I'm gonna bring the car outside. I wanna figure out if it's gonna lock up on me again. I don't wanna go far from home. So we're gonna do some ripping in the driveway and uh, let's get out there. so good i'm gonna give it a couple rips i'm really just trying to figure out if this alternator is gonna lock up on me we got to give it some high rpm reps maybe like a five grand or something like that speed on her see what she's got and see if she'll hold because if she doesn't hold metal shavings from the barrel like legitimate because when my barrel came on here i was doing a burnout it was just completely shredded my barrel up don't tell my wheel repairman that this is how it happened but At the end of the day, I'm just happy that the Tilt the TDI did not die. I was so afraid that we blew this thing up. It would have cost me a lot of money, but we don't really need those headaches when we've already got these two headaches and we need to start on the Mark 6. I've got some goodies in the mail for the TT and I think that's what the next video is going to consist of. Some upgrades for the TT that we've been needing big time. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please throw it a thumbs up. I'm going to get all these cars situated, try to get some salt in the driveway because of all this ice. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Your build is unique to you. I love you guys. You're going to smash it into 100K in no time. And uh, please share the video to one of your friends if they might enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.